I want you to know that Autism Live has always had a Pinterest page and we are working really hard right now to every week add five new topics for things to do um, that we could, that can improve this marathon that we are on. So go and check it out on our autism live on the Pinterest page. We've got a total of 10 up there right now. And one of the ones for this week, um, what, and I didn't get to it yesterday, but, uh, it's, uh, art projects. And I specifically was asked to do it for five to eight year olds. Um, things that they could do at home that wouldn't be really hard. And so there are, I don't know, like a hundred and some odd pins that I put there of all these different art projects that you could do and trying to be mindful about the fact that you want to use resources that you already have. One of which I want to show you right now, and it's the whole idea of paint taping. Now I happened to have um, some very inexpensive canvases uh, cause my son had a project the week before all this happened. And so I went to Michael's and I bought a package of canvases. Now you may not have that, but you might have paper. And if you don't have paper, you might have wrapping paper. And let me just tell you that wrapping paper is one of the greatest start supplies that there is because you can use the printed side or you can use the back and it becomes a paper thing. So, um, I also happen to have painter's tape which means that it releases easily. So I can peel it off and it won't harm anything. If you don't have painter's tape, you can use other tape. And if you're gonna use wrapping paper, I would encourage you um, to use, it's, it's very likely gonna tear. So I would encourage you to use like a cellophane tape so that you can still see through it. But what you do is you take whatever paper or canvas that you are using, and a lot of the art supply stores are shipping right now. Um, and very happy to ship you stuff. So I think it was $7 for five of these at, at Michael's, which was a really good deal. And the painter's tape is something that's like a buck 50 and, and the hardware stores are shipping as well. But what you do is you give the roll of tape, where's my tape, to the kiddo, and you help them to put the tape in whatever shape that they want on the canvas. And then you let them paint different colors in the different squares. Now there's lots of ways to do this. And if you wanna make it more educational or if your kiddo is really little and is still working on their fine motor, you could tape different shapes onto the back of the wrapping paper and have like a circle. It'll, it'll be hard to make a circle out of tape, but you're brilliant and I know you can handle it. Uh, you can make a circle, a triangle, a rectangle and a square, right? And you can be working on shapes at the same time. But the idea is that they paint within the tape, but the tape, it gives them leeway so that if they if they go over it a little bit later on after everything is dried you pull off the tape and they're brilliant every single one i've ever seen done is absolutely scrumptious and beautiful and worthy of hanging on the wall we did this years ago at an autism walk and we had i don't know like uh, i want to say like 60 canvases and we taped them off and kids came up and picked one square to paint and sometimes they would put their handprint on them or whatever. And then we, um, we auctioned them. And so they hang all over the offices at the Center for Autism and Related Disorders because uh, we brought them into the office and it was a fundraiser to raise money for iPads through ACT. Um, now, the thing about, the reason why I'm telling you that is that it was super easy. We, were, we did it on a large scale with 10,000 kids. And I'm telling you, if we could do it with 10,000 kids, you can do it with one or two or three. Um, and it's relatively mess free if you, um, you know, if you, you just want to make sure that whatever surface the kids are painting on is covered, you can cover it with saran wrap or foil or wax paper or take newspapers or use the wrapping paper, right? Um, to cover the table so you're not getting paint everywhere. But a kid does not have to be super at fine motor to do this. And it's very reinforcing because even if they, you know, color outside the lines, it still looks beautiful. It still looks beautiful. And even if you can't pull up the tape, because we let ours cure for quite a while, we didn't pull the tape off. And there was this big discussion about maybe we shouldn't because they looked so beautiful just with the tape. So, you know, have a ball. It'll be fun and therapeutic for you. It's great for working on the fine motor and using your eyes to be able to follow where you're going. And it's 
a really beautiful, beautiful thing. And then for the kids to see you hang their artwork, that is a self-esteem builder. So there you go. That is your activity for the day. And we have several pins on Pinterest right now. Uh, if you go to our Autism Live Pinterest board and look at all the pins that are there. We've been curating that board for years, by the way. There are other pins, but I've started a whole series and it says at home, colon, and then whatever it is. And you can find all kinds of good stuff there. And I'm just gonna keep putting stuff there for you guys to do. Hey, thanks for watching Autism Live. To subscribe, click here. And if you'd like to check out some more of our videos, click here.